Hey kids, Inverted Cal here. Welcome back to Project Ozone 2. Um, I'm going to just kind of pick up where I left off on the last episode, well, more or less. Um, I've done a few repairs and upgrades around here at um, Spawn Camp Leafmore. It's now my Botanica and Agricraft laboratory of doom um, and it will continue to improve as time goes on oops that would be the wrong button let's try f1 f5 there we go <clears throat> so as you can tell i plotted out this whole area and started um putting sticks down on everything um i've actually grown uh, municipal crops here about four or five times now. I have a couple that are two and three, uh, three and two, two and three, two and three. Um, so it's they're coming along. Um, this is the last of a previous batch. It might come up with another two and three, but I haven't seen anything else. <clears throat> I've just kind of threw a bunch of crap down here and sorted some inventories and that kind of stuff. I made my petal apocryphies, apocryph yeah, these things. Uh, and you can hear cows. Yeah, I grabbed a bunch of safari nets and ran around for about three or four days and scooped up cows. I actually found a bunch of normal cows and then um some assorted fluid cows and this is just my livestock pen um as you can see these guys just love hiding in the floor <sighs> none of them are really overly useful this one here molten obsidian maybe lubricant heavy brine liquid nitrogen not even sure what that is about that guy there is that's the steel guy that I or the iron guy that I saw and, um, yeah, I absolutely have no need for additional iron I've got so much of it right now it's not even funny um, I found one chicken and I've managed to collect one pig there is a couple more that I just haven't gotten to this guy is anti-venom not even sure what the heck that's about so <clears throat> we'll have some fun with that. Um, but I made up a bunch of inventory to do some stuff. Uh, let's grab a few things here. Some sprinklers. Uh, these infinite water pools. Seed storages. Junk. That's just from walking back here. Um, I'm going to put these laboratory wall panels up uh, for the walls and replace the dirt with the exterior dirt walls with these. Um, I'm not entirely sure which pattern I'm going to take. Um, I'm kind of just thinking just the plain white enameled wall or maybe the small steel tile one. Um, maybe the small enamel tiles. Um, I might throw a few of these things like the little wall vents and um, these laboratory consoles and such, but more or less it's just, these are just gonna be up for, um, to replace the dirt. As much as I enjoy the dirt, um, the Endermen also enjoy the dirt. In fact, I usually come around and find little holes all over the place, uh, especially in the lower levels. So that's something that's going to you're going to probably see happen in the near future. But um, I'll work on that a bit today. Um, I have been slowly working on getting Batania started so that's another thing 
and I finally figured out some of these things. So I'm just basically trying to grow Meniseo crops. I want to test a theory um, about using a higher level crop to do a um, to do a, uh, the next level or next tier for seeds. Like if I have a 10, 10, 10, does, does it give me that when I build like say um, dye seeds, for example? So that's something I'm kind of curious about. Ooh, that's a nice one. Definitely a nice one. That's my first four number. And this one, this one's junk. Not sure what I'm gonna do with all the junk ones, but this number four guy, I'm gonna go pop him on that garden with the other ones. Two, three, two, two, three, two. You're my guy that was with the twos. No way, I don't want you. I'm gonna run with the four. Yes, I want that one. Now I found something and I really haven't done any research on it. It's just entirely by mistake. Um, fertilized dirt. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to work, so we're going to experiment with that today as well. around here I've got a zombie screaming his head off. I haven't been able to find him yet. Uh -huh. So I can make that into gardens. Oops. So just clean this up and change that all out. looking at what to do with the zombie flesh and this is made using zombie meat um, bone meal and dirt um, zombie flesh bone meal and dirt gives us this fertilized dirt now I'm hoping that this fertilized dirt will actually speed up crop growth um, I'm not going to move these ones at this time, but I'll probably put another crop on here with those if they work. Now I'm not sure if it's a one-time use, a multi-time use, a permanent thing. Um, or what? So we're going to find out about that now. Will it work with these crop sticks? Ah, oh, see, say, said I. So I can't use the crop sticks on it. All right, well, that's no good. <sighs> For the most part, all I'm doing is watching plants grow. So it hasn't exactly been studied Minecraft. Um, I did notice another thing. I went and I finished off the mining and I noticed that I had no uh, mine carts. So that's telling me that um, somehow uh, this the quarry doesn't identify uh, mine carts as a valid thing for them for it to pick up. So, something to keep in mind. Um, if you're ever <clears throat> um, if you're 
ever using the quarries to harvest uh, my um, abandoned mine shafts there. Just keep that in mind that the quarries don't pick up mine carts. So if you want those treasures, you got to go down and get it. So uh, I'm trying to figure out a way to make wings. That's the reason I went looking for cows, so I can actually get enough leather to make um, a glider at some point. <clears throat> okay, so now I want... Irrigation canal. Right. Bucket shape on oak. found out that these irrigation canals, if you have different colors, like if you use this one and this one together, they won't connect. Um, which is a good way if you want to have, say, I don't know, a uh, color-coded system. But honestly, I'm more interested in just making a system that works. Um, so let's see about putting this down. Okay, let's see if these sprinklers will actually start to function. Oops, I missed one. I'm not able to tell if they are working or not. Do I not have It's spinning and the tanks going down till it's using water now I found a little way to make sure that it doesn't run out of water which is the other thing we just put this little thing right like that It's full. This is still draining and yet it's now full. Um, these are handy little infinite water supplies and I took the time to make one of those. Of course, I love the animations on this um, tank full of water here. Haven't figured out what I'm going to put into this little corner part of the garden yet, but I'll get around to it. So now I can't tell if these are sprinkling or not because I don't see any sprinkler action, but we're going to assume they are. 
I'm not sure if you there's a mod in here that takes away any raindrops so that when it rains it doesn't make water drops. I'm guessing this is another side effect of that is it takes away the sprinkler drops. Um, I'm hoping. Okay. Um, I made this so I can fill these because this acts as an infinite water source as well. And then it's just you click that. Oops. Come on, go down. I also uh, opened up this area, made it a little bit more um, protected. <clears throat> Put these two guys up there to give myself some defense. As I said, I still have issues with Enderman. Spare chicken. All right, let's see here. Hmm. Seed storage. That was the other one I was going to do. Seed storage. sure if I have to do every seed that I have or if I could just move seeds hmm. don't see any black seeds oh well this is something I'm going to set up I, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it right now I don't know if I have any solid material to work with. I do I have some stone brick. Some green willow planks. Oops. Some more stone brick. Where's those buckets? I knew I had buckets around here somewhere. Well, I caught myself a villager zombie. Um, in a safari net so I'm going to convert him later on and make a start working on building a villager trade center um, that's going to come down the road I'm going to get at least two more and see if I can get the uh, potions going on how are we doing on daylight half a day I want to set this up You're a creeper. Oh shoot. Go away. Don't be touching it. Thank you. Go away. Jerk. <sighs> Funny how that is. You can always open up the wall and there's a creeper right there. Just waiting to have a blast. I 
damage repair in video games from creepers than anything else sometimes, you know that? Well, who's more annoying, the creepers or the endermen? Let's, uh... Eventually I'm going to put some additional uh, protection up around here, put some shrubberies and things, line this wall so it's got shrubs on the outside. <clears throat> sort of like I've done on this garden here. I'd say that's a pretty fair guess. there a directional thing to do this way? Or does it matter? I don't think it really matters which face they're on. <clears throat> so, now stone bricks. Do we want stone or should we go with something Ordered ornate. Large ornate. Let's go large ornate. Let's see what that looks like. I don't know, that kind of looks well, uh, like labyrinth stone. what I get. Okay kids, we're back. Um, the blood moon has ended and 
it's slowly getting back down to sunset here, so it's almost been a full day afterwards. I've got the water wheels spinning, water's hooked up. Um, and I did notice one little thing. Uh, this Minisio crop has completely grown in one complete Minecraft day. Well, I guess two complete Minecraft days from four seeds it has spread to this entire field. So I'm going to harvest this real quick and run this through the thing. I guess it's a seed analyzer. Let's see what kind of things we got going on here. Of course, my inventory is full of junk, as is typical and normal. Four, four, and four. Wow. Nice. Four, five, and four. Even better. Four, four, and five. Three, four, and three. what we started with and three three and four so we have actually got stuff up in the fives already four four and five those those two not one And then uh, at this point, all of these other seeds are kind of worthless. I'm going to go with the four, four, and five, and the four, five, and five. Those ones. So I'm just going to plant these real quick here. disappointed with the I'm kind of disappointed with this fertilized dirt I was hoping that I could have put the crop sticks down on this and gained the increase but Probably gonna have to just tear this all back out and go back to the regular dirt um, unless I can find another crop that would actually grow on these because as it stands the only thing that grows without crop sticks is carrots and potatoes so there we have it kids oh I just gained an ink sack did you see that that's funny um, <laughs> So there we have it. Thanks all for watching. Um, and I'll see you on the next episode, I guess. And uh, good night for now.